The birds are flighty and the team will have to be in their finest form while I head to the city to buy more spawning trucks that the weather and deer have destroyed. Mel and Jeff start the tour with combo hunts, leaving Jason with decisions to make on who hunts where for the afternoon. The snows and specks are falling for the trickery of the new clone decoys. And finally, after two weeks of stress and setbacks, life at the lodge is good again. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27-year-old school teacher and said to myself, I'm going to build a hunting lodge. That was 23 years ago. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. So, Daryl hit a deer yesterday with uh, my CRV. And uh, of course, we can't just leave trucks around and we need them, so we gotta get them fixed. So, oh boy, what a mess. So I'm here recovering it. Mel, uh, Mel's gonna give me a hand. This one's that there right up. Too bad, too bad. Sure it is. I'll be buying another one this week. You can see it's, a, it's Bender, light oh. trout. Rad support, rad hood, door, bumper, no door play, okay. Bumper, all that plastic, it's a write-off. Ah, uh, so I'm back. I've been gone. I was here the first three weeks and then gone for three weeks. I uh, just got back today, it's Sunday, so it's turnaround day. Uh, I'm spotted this morning and then uh, Claudio had to go run and get hunters tonight so I'm watching his hunt for the morning and uh, he was gracious enough to let me hunt it too so if it looks good I'll be hunting Claudio's hunt in the morning. Ah, it's quite a few snows, more than I thought would be here. I don't know, there's probably, I don't know, 3,000 snows, maybe the same speckled bellies. And I don't see many ducks in there. The ducks might be somewhere else right now. These were the birds that were roosting on the big water by the swaths, so the ducks could very well be somewhere else right now and haven't come yet. So we will see. We'll have to sit and watch a little closer. The birds are back on the water now, so. We'll have to wait and see. It's early, so see what happens if they filter back in there but it's not what you want to see they were all settled in there and now they're all bumped out of there yeah these birds are all broken up I don't know what's up tonight they're flighty I thought I nailed them down after they left the, what was supposed to be our target no they jumped out of that field and it's just messy. It's time to look elsewhere and just leave these ones for tonight. There's no hunt here to be had for morning, so. I think we're gonna start uh, with Jeff and Mel in the morning. This is a monster hunt. I did this. It, it's a big one. A lot of specks, an awful pile of snows, a ton of ducks, and there is some lesser cans in here. What it is, Brad and I run this east country. Or yeah, not run it, but work it. On a big hunt like this, a lot of times he'll help me. Big setup, so I thought he'd give him a hand. We got our sill socks and some FFDs. Um, heavy with the darks on the inside. He's got lots of speckle bellies here. It's one of those hunts where you got a lot of speckle bellies, a lot of snow, so you're trying to get them both to do it in a hole. Lots of snows out far, long legs, and got a good inside body of, of speckle belly, so we'll see. Twelve hundreds, a few decoys. So we're up early this morning, up before. So we're getting there. We're just filling in a few last decoys and then uh, hook up a robo and uh, some flyers, a couple and some clone decoys. Gotta yeah, have those. Cover so. that up. We'll be close. We, we should be ready by legal. Kill him! Kill him!
Rip that one, rip him, rip him, rip him, rip him. Get it. Two ducks right in front. Kill him. Okay, get in. Get in. There's geese. <laughs> Where'd you get two? Yeah. Yeah, get, get in, get in. We got them all coming. Well, we got back to our hunt. We went for a little tour at another big snow show I wanted to look at. Uh, it's Thanksgiving weekend, so there's lots of hunting going on. Came back to the target hunt for tonight. My snows and my uh, little Canada's. Still looks good. Got another flight of snows coming in right now. And uh, right now, Jeff's was about halfway done his ducks. And uh, a few specks, few snows. Mel pretty much was done his specks with about a half limit of his uh, ducks and a uh, handful of snows too. So we got to see how this plays out. With Mel having almost all his speckle bellies, which would be 25 out of the 40. I might lean on taking Jeff's guys. I have no ducks. Take Jeff's guys in there because they've only got a few geese. It does change fast. You know, right now they could have shot five more dark geese. It, you know, who knows, but... Uh, so we'll give it another hour and see where the boys are at, but hopefully both groups get uh, their ducks. That's better, at least two fell. Okay, watch this snow. Kill it, kill it! Watch these ducks, watch these ducks. Rip them, rip them. Get them all. There we go. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Actually, it went quite well. Uh, I felt the birds didn't like the blinds. Uh, but I guess, how do you say that when you got all these birds, you know? But they really didn't like the blinds. We had we had big volume here. That's you know that helps. That's hunting. It's not a big deal. It's still a great shoot. So, but uh, time time to pack up. We got a big pack up. So better get at her and get that done and get them back for lunch and get them ready to go again. Trying to mix and match parts so we can make one car out of the three broken ones, I think. It's the price of doing business, I guess. Barbara, are you ready? Especially in snowstorms. How was it, guys? Great. Great time. Well, that's good. good. Yeah, a lot of birds. Good? Good? good.
Kyle, did you have fun? Oh, yeah. It was a good oh, time. Yeah. Had to shake off the rust a little bit, but after that, it was good. Oh, is that what they call it? Rust? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It probably was on the gun, not me. <laughs> All right, so Mel, here's the plan. Being that you don't know the plan. So. You've been replaced. You've been replaced. Oh, no, you haven't been replaced. That's Brad's right. So I got, Darren came in, and then I'm going to go to Towns. Yeah, I knew that. OK, so I'm going to take the deer hit CRV out. Yeah. I can go buy two more. So we're going to have a quick meeting yeah. and decide, now, are your guys going out, or are they not going out? Do you have prepped for? No, Okay. because I didn't know nothing. OK. All right, so they need seven dark geese. I'm thinking no. This last snowstorm basically created havoc. So we've broken between hitting deer and dragging these, these uh, CRVs around and having to tow them. We've lost uh, three of them of the five. So I'm going to run into Edmonton. I'm going to buy two more just so we can keep rolling. And then uh, I brought another guide that we've used in Saskatchewan in to help out while I'm gone. So then the ball can just keep rolling. Because the guys, it's, it's stressful to go with just four guides. So you got to have five guides. So I'll be gone and I'll be back hopefully tomorrow by tomorrow evening with two more or three more CRVs, however many I can find, and, and get ready to roll. That's the plan. Well, we, uh, we weren't able to hunt this last night. A uh, group decided to uh, hang out at the lodge last night. Watch this, actually got bigger. More snow geese came in here, which is a nice thing. Um, so we are in here this morning. We're gonna hunt out of the layout blinds. I'm gonna blob them with a bunch of straw to make kind of look like one big uh, pile of straw. The birds are coming from a big lake to the south, and uh, we'll go from there. I'm doing just kind of a big, wide open U shape. Real heavy decoys around the blinds. And uh, we'll put up some clone decoys and go from there. So hopefully it works out. Should be fun. Okay, get ready. Let them come. Now go, 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 go. Go on the left. Good job. We got a little bit of blobness happening here, but that's OK. Load up and get down. We got so much dead stuff out there that it's starting to clear off. Okay, get ready. Go, 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 go! Watch on the left here. Watch on the left. Come on, swing it, swing it. Straight ahead, guys, straight ahead. Let them come. Okay, kill them, go! Okay. Let's get some of the, get that snow. We gotta collect some of these, especially in the hole, right? Let's get these ones out here real fast, yeah. Okay, let's go, let's get in. Get in, guys. Okay, get ready, let's go. Kill him, kill him. I'm gonna get them as close as I can. Get ready. Hey, go, kill him. Good job, boys. Good job. Okay, well, it went well. We uh, shot 39 dark geese, so we're one short. The guys should have had it, but what the heck. One short, so they could shoot one tonight with their ducks uh, on a duck hunt tonight. And uh, we'll go from there. Hey Claudio. Hello. Hey Brad, how are you? 
Good, how are you? How's it going? Oh, I got one in the bag, just uh, one black Sierra V ready to come back. We're just waiting for uh, the guy is in Fort McMurray, so he's in the deal with his son. And uh, nice. I'm waiting for the bill, I'm just waiting for the bill of sale. But it, it's a nice little car. Nice. Well, addition to the fleet, well, three. One in the bag. One in the bag. <laughs> Well, we're looking at our second big snow show in two days. Mel's hunting here tonight. I'm gonna give him a hand setting up. We're out here early. It's a little bit frontish today. Supposed to get some weather, so come out and give him a hand set up. Big snow show, big setup though. So try to get her done here. I think it's. I think it's gonna be a good one. So don't argue with the blind Nazi. You're not gonna win with Mel. He'll make you redress your whole blind if you put up too much of a fight. What we're doing is. Uh... Big main body, real long legs. We'll have some family groups out here. Uh, it's just the biggest deal here is covering up these blinds. These geese are gonna come in here like you wouldn't believe. But we want fairly big looking spread. The main body, they're gonna target it and try to hit behind us. And that's exactly what we want. So far, it's looking really good. We'll spread it out more if we have to. I think we're good. So we're going, we're going, you know, like three, four, five feet between the decoys, so we can make it look big. That's that's the biggest thing. Uh, it's ten to fifteen thousand snow geese. Best guess. I mean, I don't know, some ducks. But we need a good goose hunt for tonight. Um, they've got their ducks already this morning. So they got their ducks this morning with Darren. So they don't need ducks, but uh, we're gonna use it for a goose hunt. It's it's good. It's um, they're coming from probably three, four miles away, so they should be spread out a bit. We got windy conditions, flat light this afternoon. It's got all the recipe for a good hunt as long as they they get here, which I mean, you think pretty sure they're coming, eh, Mel? <laughs> I can't see why not. They if might, they come, they if they come, it's going to be a doozy, and they should come. So should let's put it this way: we're both pretty excited about it. Yeah. You got a bunch of geese, come get in, feet, coming from the left. the first one so much I had to buy another one. <laughs> Congrats on your hunt this morning, man. Oh, thanks. Good job, man. That was fun. Good. Well, we have wheels. Looks good. So this one I didn't even drive today. I drove it up the ramp and down, so I hope it works. Seems to work, should be alright. Seem like really nice people. Two trucks for six grand, can't go wrong. We're ready to spot. <laughs> Just got an update. You know, I was gone this morning, but they got all their docks. And Jay shot a bunch of uh, dark geese and a handful of snows. Got all of his dark geese, which is great. And then Mel right now is at 28 darks, I believe and 33 snows. So all in all, just another a, a fantastic day, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go check one more duck hunt. And then uh, if that's a no-go, well then Jay's got a goose option. 
Darren's spotting and he's working on one now. And then I'm gonna, then I do have one other little option that they're kind of filtering out, so I don't know what's gonna happen there. And the night's still young, it's only six o'clock, we'll put something together. If not, I, I'll just hop in and I'll hunt uh, snows with uh, Brad and he'll guide, which means I can actually do some shooting and I'll test some of the heavy ammo that we really want to get after. So we'll do that. So happy times ahead, possibly. Let's hurry up, guys, hurry up, because we're just blowing flight. Look at what's coming. Come on, let's go, let's go. Let's not fool around. Rip him, rip him. Go watch these. One left. Kill that. That's how we roll, boys. There's our catch. I don't know, it was great. It was absolutely great. And they had a lot of fun, and that's the most important thing of it all. So. How many did you get, Melvin? 111. 111. Well, how many snows? Uh, 74. So today, uh, an amazing day. I mean, they shot uh, limits of darks, limits of ducks, and a bunch of snows. And then they had, I was gone last night, Brad come back with a bunch of snows on a hunt too. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better two days of hunting for these guys. Now, having said that, tomorrow morning is gonna be a little tougher. We're still trying to sort things out. I mean, it's dark, we have a plan, but tonight was a bit of a scramble. So, and I mean, that's what keeps us at the edge of our seat, right? It's always, hmm.